We did this competition where you had to dance and whoever did the best dancing wins. He obviously didn't win, but he did pretty good and he danced around to a song. Seeing a 6'8 guy dance is hilarious, especially if it's your dad. Uh, yes, he is a cool dad to me. <laughs> My friend's kind of scared of him sometimes because he's so tall and has a deep voice, but I mean, he's really cool. I and mean, when you get to know him personally, he's very open. It's an honor to get a chance to be part of the Outward House. Uh, you, know, you invited me to the, when I first got in town last year, and I was blown away by not only the participation and the amount of people that invested their time and resources into it, but the overall concept. And uh, it truly is an honor and I'm humbled to be here today to get a chance to talk about what I've done to get to this point and the people that have influenced me, especially the father figures in my life. You gotta have truth tellers in your life. For sure. My wife's a truth teller, Jason's a truth teller, my dad was a truth teller, my brother's a truth teller. They tell me, hey, you're, you're not balanced right now. So the ability, so what I've done is I've really taken our team and made them a part of our family. Mm. So our guys are over at our house all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they know my daughters, they know my wife, they know me. Uh, so when there's an issue at home I have to take care of, typically Lisa's got it pretty much figured out, but I'll come in and then I'll go back and I'll tell the team the issue we have. Mm. And I'll say, hey, th this is where we're at. And that transparency is huge in building trust. Because they feel like, you know what? I see, you know, I see someone for my marriage. I see someone to be a better father. You know, people are teaching me and helping me become that. You know, let, let, let me put you in the right position to help you and do some things. And we got some unbelievable dads on our staff yeah. and some men that really just pour into our players. And uh, you know, I'm really proud of that. And I wish the Cincinnati community and our Cincinnati Bearcat faithful could see that on a daily basis. Because that's probably what I'm most proud of. I want to talk about being a father figure to a lot of these players. Um, you know, what's that like and, and what's your style as far as being, there's one thing of, of X and O's on the court, but then there's off the court and issues you have to deal with. You okay. know, what's your style with that? Well, you know, it's, uh, it's very much based and rooted in what I learned coming up as, as, as a young man with great parents. If you asked our players to give them one word about me, I would hope it would be consistent. Hmm. Uh, because I feel like I'm you know, one of the more consistent people in their life and I always want to, because that's what my dad taught me. Him and my mom as well just modeled what consistency was. You know? Right. If, he's, if he said he was picking you up, he picked you up. Absolutely. Uh, if he said he was going to be at a game, he was at a game. Uh, his consistency of effort and being a dad and just the work that took place that, you know, you provide for our family, you know, each and every day, the best that he could. and. Uh, it's equally rooted in being a parent for the last 14 years. Mm -hmm. And it's unbelievable, Alex, how that, when I'm recruiting a young man, I'm getting to know their families, how that ties into me becoming a better parent. Yeah. And how being a parent helps me try to be a better coach. So yep. it's, it's both ways, it's not just sure. one way. Because you meet so many families from so many different dynamics across the country. Yeah, Parents from different you know, places in the world and uh, different racial backgrounds and just so many different dynamics that you get to go in the houses of. You really learn how other people you know, parent and how other people do things. And it's been a tr tremendous learning environment for me. But to answer your question, specifically to our men, I tell their parents all the time, there's two things I promise. I'm going to love them, mm -hmm. and we're going to go through adversity together. Mm. Because true love and true relationships are the ones you go through adversity with. So this is what I ask my players. I said, the greatest moment in your life to this point, and they'll, they'll tell me, who'd you call? I call my mom. The worst moment in your life to date, they tell me, well, who'd you call? I call my mom or dad. You know, so my dad, I called him my best moment, and called my dad on the worst moment. I said, it's interesting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And he's like, yeah, it's kind of like an aha moment for them. Like, yeah, the, they're my foundation. For sure. And there's what I learned from them. So probably the other piece is patience, uh, grace. Mm -hmm. uh, I've learned that over time uh, because my dad has had grace with me, mm -hmm. uh, as well as, you know, I'm a religious guy, as well as, you know, my father up in heaven. Um, so I've learned those things and the relationships that I've had. and certainly want to pay those forward to our players and be able to be in their lives. And we tell our parents all the time with recruits, we want to be in your life for 50 years, right? We want to be extension of the parents. And then we lay out how we're exactly we're going to do that. And, and we have um, a parallel in that my involvement with Talbert House, and I'm on the committee um, for the Fatherhood Project, and um, I was asked to come aboard because my father, my father, Bob Meacham, yeah. Um, he was chairman of the board, you know, he was part of starting the fatherhood luncheon um, and 
being a part of um, generating the funds to run the fatherhood project. And, and when he was involved with this, I knew that it was important for me to get involved with Talbert House. And also your work, I mean, you've been coaching, you've been at, I believe, seven different mm -hmm. um, spots coaching. You've impacted a lot of young people. I run a program impacting a lot of young people into, for both of us to have an impact on Talbert House and fathers impacting their children, as you talk about, is, is, is generational. Mm -hmm. So um, we, we definitely want to thank you for not only attending that luncheon, but also being our keynote you know, speaker and, and sharing your words because I think those are important you know, for people to help hear because people will hear this message that might not normally hear that message because you're the head coach of the University of Cincinnati. There's no job I have more important to be the father of Jalen Caitlin Brandon, but there's no more difficult job I have. And I want parents to understand it. It is the most difficult job we have. You know, I'm the head coach of the University of Cincinnati. I'm blessed to be that. I'm humbled every single day to be it. But make no bones about it. My hardest job is to get those young ladies <laughs> to to the next day or to the next, yeah. you know, the next opportunity. And when you pour love and consistency into someone, as a dad, you won't always receive it back initially. And so my message to all the dads out there. Pour it in, pour it in, pour it in, and watch it over time. He was always there for me no matter what happens. I mean, he's a great mentor and he teaches me what to do in the right time, in the right place. And he was always just a big supporter. Thank you, Dad, for always being there when I need you. They're, in the hard times, you're always there and you always will be. And thank you for being the best dad and I love you for all of that. You're amazing. And I think the real mark of it, and I haven't experienced this yet, is when I get to see my daughters parent their children wow. one day. And I, I think going back to my dad before he passed, he loved to talk about basketball, but he always complimented me and my brother on what kind of fathers we were. Mm. It was never about, hey, you're a great coach, you're a great time out there. It was always like, well, you're a great dad. Yeah, that's and, awesome. Uh, it was easy, dad, because you you were the model. And yeah. That's what Howard Palace brings, the model For sure. and the opportunity for those that want to learn to take the next step on being better dads, there's not a more important job. It's an honor uh, to be here with you today, and it's an honor to be a part of your organization. Yeah, well, and I hope you. I'm uh, allowed to be for years to come.